Hi, how do you improve your English speaking when you don't live in an English speaking country? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. Uh, yes, now uh, quite a lot of my students have the same characteristics. They know their grammar really well, they know how to write quite well, they understand but they just can't speak. They're embarrassed, they feel uncomfortable, they feel inadequate, and so they don't dare open their mouths. And these are usually intermediate to advanced students because beginners um, are less aware of the mistakes they make, so they tend to speak um, more easily. But as soon as a student becomes uh, conscious of uh, the mistakes he makes, then suddenly he'll stop talking. And this is a big problem. So, um, before I explain to you how uh, most uh, people I know who speak English well not living in an English-speaking country, how they tend to get organized. I'd like to tell you about a course I've, uh, I've created. Uh, here's the link up here. Uh, uh, you can download the first week of this course, and this course is actually uh, made for people who have no time but need to improve their speaking. And uh, the beauty of it, uh, as I said, you can try it from this link for free the first week. Um, the beauty of it is that you can um, do it whilst you're driving to work or doing household chores. And can you imagine, if you're closed within uh, the confines of your car, you, you can make mistakes because nobody will hear you. And so uh, you can experiment with the language and you can get your jaw to practice um, forming the language with the palate and your tongue and uh, the jaw in the correct position so um, it'll become easier over time. In any case, uh, those people who uh, learn best very quickly are those who first of all have motivation. So all these people that I know around the world and also personal students, they have motivation. So the first thing is you have to want or you have to need to speak the language. Then uh, look at, for example, the Netherlands and Scandinavia. Israel, I think, too, they all have television with subtitles in English. So uh, that's something fundamental. And nowadays, uh, you can uh, watch um, programs also on your own channels or on Netflix or on Sky and actually choose the subtitles, which I would recommend in English, because that way you're listening and reading and uh, that way you can actually um, yes reinforce your language so that's important surround yourself with the language with songs with um, subtitles on um, tv and uh, radio podcasts when you're driving uh, you can listen to the radio or you can download specific post podcasts you're interested in the most important thing is to surround yourself with the language but of course that's uh, more for comprehension. To be able to actually speak, you have to stop something that you're interested in, a podcast or a song, something you uh, enjoy, stop it, listen to a short piece and then repeat it. Uh, uh, go back, stop it, listen again, uh, repeat it. And if you have the opportunity, it would also be good for you to record it so that you can make a comparison between your recording and the original. So uh, this is important because uh, watching and listening will reinforce your grammar, your uh, sentence structure, but you have to actually speak. Speak. And that's why I recommended the course I mentioned earlier, which I'm uh, conceiving especially for uh, you to practice. But without that, you can also practice with any kind of material where you can listen, stop it and repeat 
and then if you have a chance also record what you need to do is practice 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 and it doesn't matter what you practice as long as you are actually moving your mouth to coordinate the language so it becomes more natural now uh, another thing i always recommend is speaking and again as i said if you're in your car if you're in the shower if you're alone at home you can speak to yourself speak about anything now i'm cleaning uh, then i have to go out and do the shopping uh, anything that comes to mind say it out loud because as soon as you're saying it out loud you're actually thinking in english and that's the next step to bring yourself to think in english so um, if you don't know the vocabulary it's really not important because you can go around in a circle and say oh i need um, a sieve uh, and if you don't know what a sieve is you say oh i need that object which is uh, round and has a lot of holes in it and when i put uh, for example sugar in it and i shake it sugar comes out underneath and i can put it on the cake so you've explained what you need and you've practiced your speaking then when you have time you can go and check in the dictionary what a sieve actually is i mean what the word is for um sieve that you were looking for so let's summarize again uh, it's very important to surround yourself with the language uh, be it songs tv um, anything uh, audio or audio visual uh, because those are things that you can then stop and repeat when you have time uh, it's the actual speaking that's very important um, that's something that we tend not to practice enough of course it would be lovely if you've got a friend to talk to or if you can phone someone but it doesn't really matter if you can talk to yourself the more you speak the more you practice the speaking the easier it'll get and this is important especially if you have to speak in public if you have to go to a conference and uh, make a speech in public in English or listen to your colleagues questions and answer them or it might be um, a webinar or even a conference call in any case where you have a lot of people and you've got to speak so to speak in public so the more you practice the easier it'll get it's not necessary to live in England, Scotland, Canada, uh, South Africa or uh, Australia, New Zealand, wherever they speak English. But it is necessary to practice, practice, practice. So that's the secret. Practice speaking English as much as you can. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, if you practice alone, nobody can hear them anyhow. The important thing is to speak. Even if you make a mistake, that's not so tragic. And finally, if you want to practice the first week of my course for free, download it from the link above and see how you get on with it. If you enjoy it, you can then go to my website and buy the subsequent weeks. So I hope this was very useful information for you. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe here to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you again in the next video. That's all. Bye.